Hi everyone, welcome to Steel Stacks Live. This week, we are actually talking about some very exciting things coming to Steel Stacks, the arts and cultural campus on the former site of Bethlehem Steel that uh, our show gets its name from. And joining me to do just that is funny man extraordinaire and friend of the show, Ryan Hill, the programming manager at ArtsQuest. Ryan, thank you so much for uh, for coming back. Well, thank you for having me, John. I'm so glad you dressed up for the occasion. I did, yes, absolutely. There, I like to make all of my guests feel special, and you are truly the specialist guy I've ever had ride that couch. So. Well, next time I'm going down from 15 minutes preparation time before I come here to about two. That's why we love you. So, talking about the things you prepared for, mm -hmm. um, one of the very exciting new parts of the Arts Quest Center at Steel Stacks is the uh, Frank Banco Ale House Cinema. Right. Right? Yeah, it's going to be an independent film, cinema, foreign films, uh, films that basically maybe if you like watch the Oscars, you're like, I didn't hear of that film. It's a film that we will have shown. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's a two screen cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking 200 seats, 100 seats. There's lots of amazing programming that's going to be in there. But uh, one, there, there's two very cool things that I've just recently learned um, that I want you all to know um, about the cinema. One, it is the Frank Banco Ale House Cinema. Ale house being the key word, yes, right? Yes, totally. One of six in Pennsylvania, and the only one I know of, like within a good 30 to 50 mile radius, that will be, you'll be able to take your beer or your wine into the cinema with you. Awesome. So you can just get it at the concession stand. It's actually going to be a, a little restaurant, and yeah. there's also going to be a bar there that if you so uh, choose to have a cocktail or, or some spirits with your movie, you're going to be able to take it into the cinema as well. Yeah, I actually just saw even like the, we just got the trays that you can like take in with you. Because there's like going to be so many great concessions. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the chef, uh, the chef has come on uh, who is going to be, you know, kind of leading the charge with that. And there's going to be great concessions. Like a and food like charge. That. It's like meatballs. Like that kind of charge? No. Okay. Like just nachos. Nachos? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe a meatball. Maybe? I don't know. Y you don't dig on the meatball, you're a vegetarian. Don't, yeah. So it was a bad example Maybe for you. Maybe a fake meatball. Yeah, or like uh, chickpea popcorn or something like that, right? Don't you tease me with chickpea popcorn. Well, there's some actually backstage, so if you're a good guest, you might get some. Okay. I'm kidding, there's not. He's in for a horrible, horrible surprise. Anyways, back to the pertinent matter, the matter at hand. Ale House Cinema, awesome. But one of the other cool things is uh, the seating situation. Right. What we want to do uh, with this, it's a, it's, a, it's a way to make it so, you know, if you go to like a big multiplex, a lot of times you'll go to your film and, uh, you know, you're all ready, you've gotten through the previews, you've gotten through like eight previews. By the way, the Frank Banco Well House Cinema, only two previews every time, only really? two previews. So it's going to be quick, you get to see your movie. And a lot of times when that happens, you know, you get somebody even like through that like five minutes still into the movie, it's like 25 minutes after the announced time at this multiplex, and they're still shuffling in front of you. Yeah, We're yeah. going to have reserved seating. So we have oh. that with reserved seating and a late policy. Basically what that means is you can go online, okay. pick up your tickets, pick where you want to sit. Like literally the actual row the and seat. The actual row and seat. Like, like you were buying concert tickets, but we're talking about a movie. Exactly. Just okay. like that. And you know, for these films too, these you know independent films, these foreign films, these are films you really want to take in every single minute of. So we don't want people to have to be, uh, to have to worry about somebody like having to walk in front of them. Obviously, you know, you're allowed to go to the bathroom. You're allowed to do all those things. It's still going to happen. That's my next question. <laughs> oh, mind reader here. That's pretty good. Exactly. Like the amazing Karnak. You're allowed to do all that stuff. <laughs> that sounds very strange now that I'm right? saying that. It's yeah. like we had a meeting to say, should we let them go to the bathroom? Uh, yeah. Should we let there, should there be like a little pot underneath that they just let it go? There's not though. There's, There's not. actually bathrooms. There are bathrooms. Very nice bathrooms. Fantastic. <laughs> well, on that high note, <laughs> we're going to step aside, take a really short break, let you go to the bathroom and, and in, in the middle of Steel Stacks Live if, if you so see fit. If not, and when you're done actually, Tune back in. We got more from Ryan. We're going to be talking some of the comedy mm -hmm. programming that will be happening at Steel Stacks. So stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Ryan, before the break, you made some uh, bad potty humor jokes. <laughs> but uh, hey, I've it happens down. to the best of us. Yeah. Um, while we're talking jokes, one of the other things that uh, I'm very excited about, and I know obviously you are, is there's going to be a lot of uh, comedy programming right. at yeah. Steel Stack. So what are, what are we looking at? 
Well, we've got two main nights, Sunday night and Wednesday night. The Wednesday okay. night uh, shows we're going to be doing at the, uh, the Fowler Blast Furnace Fowler Room. Blast furnace room. It's all right. I prepared more for... than two minutes, so <laughs> I actually know. The Fowler <laughs> Blast Furnace Room. You got there. We'll have uh, two laugh minimum. Uh, a very well named. It's a, it's a great name. It is a great name. It's a great name. That was one of your better moments. I named it. So enough of that. Two laugh minimum Wednesday nights. Two laugh minimum every Wednesday night will be a stand-up show like the Lehigh Valley doesn't get to see. It's mm -hmm. basically up-and-coming comics from New York coming to headline. Uh, we'll be kicking off on May 4th with Mike Kaplan, who uh, actually his first name is spelled M Y Q. Um, yeah, look at that. He was on Last Comic Standing, one of the top five, and That's last awesome. summer. Um, he's kicking it off on May 4th, and basically it's it's like uh, a show that you go see in New York at Gotham or Caroline's on a on a uh, on a weekend with a you've got a host, uh, a feature, and then your headliner. And your host and feature are going to be comics. Some of them will be from New York, but mm -hmm. a lot of times it's going to be people from right here in the Lehigh Valley, awesome. people down in Philly too. It's it's something I'm very excited about. You also mentioned Sunday nights. Sunday nights are going to be it, a lot of them are going to be improv nights, and okay. uh, basically improv troops from all over the place are coming. We've got a, a troop from Harris. Harrisburg coming in called Don't Beat the Streak. The Associated Mess from right here in the Lehigh Valley will be That's performing. That's AskMess.com. It is AskMess.com. AskMess.com. Check it out. AskMess.com. Anytime I can say that on TV, I've got to get it in there. Can we say it five more times? Uh, no. Okay. Then. Um, and we've got other alternative things going on too, some different things. Like right now in the works, I'm, I'm working on like a the best of Craigslist night on Sundays <laughs> where we're going to bring in stand-ups and Very improv cool. comics to do just kind of random things, riffing on like misconnections and mm -hmm. the weird things people put on sale uh, on Craigslist. So, cool. um, you know, so there's awesome things that are happening. It's, you know, Steel Stacks is going to be this great place where uh, comedy that wasn't coming here before is now going to have a home. The stuff that you kind of hear, the buzz that, uh, you know, of Chicago and New York, that other places may not have taken the chance on, we're going to be bringing that and really, really excited about that. Sweet. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for coming on, making fun of my t-shirt. If you want more things like this, log on to our website. It's steelstackslive.org. You can see our past episodes. There's even one with Ryan. If you can't get enough of him, you can check that out. And uh, you can also fill out uh, forms to get on the show if you've uh, got a very exciting project. We'd love to hear from you. So steelstackslive.org. Check it out, artsquest.org for all the things we just talked about. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Steel Stacks Live.